Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing you Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. A lot of you guys been requesting me to do a Valentine's Day makeup look and also one of my subscriber named Afnan, she requested me to do a pink makeup look. So yep, here is the video guys. So yep, without wasting any more time, let's begin with the makeup tutorial. To start off with, I'm gonna be prepping my skin using Nivea cream and also I'm gonna be mixing up my Nivea cream with Miss Claire Bond to Glow Illuminator. I'm gonna mix this both the products and I'm gonna apply it all over my face. Next, I'm gonna be priming my skin using Lacme Absolute Blur Perfect Primer. This primer is really good guys. If you are looking for a primer which gives a really nice glow to your skin, then go for it. So I'm gonna apply this primer all over my face with the help of my fingers. Next, I'm gonna be doing my eye makeup. For that, I'm gonna be priming my eyelid area using Miss Claire Full Coverage Makeup Plus Concealer in the shade 1. All the shade name and product name will be mentioned in the description box for you guys. So I'm gonna take this concealer onto my brush and I'm gonna apply this uh, all over my lid and also I'm gonna apply this concealer onto my lower lash line because we're gonna be working on that area too. help of my fingers I'm gonna blend this concealer out to set the concealer on place and to make blending easy I'm gonna be using Maybelline white super fresh compact I'm in the shade full I'm gonna take this compact onto my brush and I'm just gonna you know apply this compact all over my eyelid area where I applied my concealer I just cannot do my eye makeup without my eyebrows so I'm gonna be filling and defining my brows using Maybelline Fashion Brow Cream Pencil in the shade Dark Grey. This is one of my favorite eyebrow product. I just cannot live without this product. I think you all should definitely give it a try. It's an amazing product. Firstly, I'm gonna be working onto my crease. So I'm gonna be using Maybelline the Blush Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna pick up this shade from the palette and I'm gonna apply it all over my crease as my transition shade. Here I'm building up the color. I really want my crease area to be more defined and look more, uh, you know, like well shaped sort of so yep here i'm building up the color at the same time i'm blending it out next i'm gonna take my chameleon single 3d eyeshadow in the shade red and my blue heaven diamond blush on in the shade 05 i'm gonna take this both the shade onto my brush and i'm gonna start apply onto my crease right below the transition shade Totally depends on how you build up the color. The more you build up, the more it shows. The less you build up, the less it shows. So, yep, here I'm building up the color again. For my eyelid, I'm gonna be using Wet n Wild eyeshadow in the shade, I guess, pink. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna mention in the description box. Now here I'm gonna shade my half eyelid area using Maybelline the Blush Nudes eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna pick up that pink, uh, dark pink sort of a shade from the palette and I'm gonna apply it onto the outer V corner of my eye. I'm also gonna take this color onto my lower lash line.
Next, I'm gonna take my Maybelline The Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna pick up that dark brown shade from the palette. I'm gonna apply it onto my outer V corner of my eye, just my outer V. I'm also gonna take this color towards my lower lash line right below the pink shade. Next, I'm gonna take my Heng Feng Glitter Liquid Liner. I'm gonna apply this uh, glitter onto the half of my eye, like uh, from my inner corners onto my eyelid, like half of my eyelid. Product which we used is a glitter liner. So, to balance out my eye makeup look, I'm gonna be using Cover Girl Face and Body Glitters in the shade I guess 29 I'm gonna pick up this uh, glitters onto my brush and I'm gonna apply it I'm just gonna pat these uh, glitters right onto the silver shade which we applied previously I'm gonna be applying fake lashes onto my upper eyelid I'm not gonna be applying any liquid liner I'll be lining my waterline using Maybelline lasting drama gel liner in the shade glaze toffee I'm gonna line my waterline as well as I'm gonna wing it out from my waterline before applying any fake lashes I'm gonna be coating my eyelashes using Lacme iconic curling mascara onto my upper and lower lashes To highlight my inner corners, I'm gonna be using Nykaa Glow Glitter Highlighter in the shade 24K Glam. I'm gonna pick up that pure gold shade from the quad and I'm gonna highlight my inner corners as well as my bra bone. Next, we're gonna be moving on to a base makeup for my foundation. I'm gonna be using L'Oreal 24 Hours Matte Mujik Foundation in the shade N1. I'm gonna apply this and uh, I'm gonna be blending out with the help of a damp beauty blender. This foundation gives a really matte, extreme matte look. If you are looking for a perfect matte foundation, go ahead and do invest in this foundation. So I'm gonna highlight and contour my face. Firstly, I'm gonna highlight my face using May Miss Claire Full Coverage Makeup Plus Concealer in the shade 1. I'm gonna highlight my usual areas, that is my under eyes, forehead, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin, and also where my contour is supposed to be. I'm gonna contour my face using Kiss Beauty Contour and Concealer Palette. I'm gonna pick up the contour shade from the palette and I'm gonna apply it onto my contour lines, my forehead, sides of my nose, underneath my lip and underneath my chin. That's my jawline. I'm done I'm gonna be blending it out firstly I'm gonna blend out my highlighted points that is my under eyes forehead on the bridge of my nose cupid's bow chin and my contour lines once I'm done blending out my highlighted points I'm gonna be blending my contour lines I'm gonna be baking my face using Lacme Whitening Rose Powder. It's an amazing product. It gives a really nice blended out look. I really like the finish of this product. Then I'm gonna wait for at least 5 minutes for the baking to do its job. Once the baking has done its job, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna, you know, dust off this excess powder from my face. I'm gonna be highlighting my face using my Nykaa Glow Glitter Highlighter in the shade 24K Glam. I'm gonna pick up both the shade from the uh, compact and I'm gonna apply it onto my highest points of my face that is my cheekbone, forehead, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow and chin. For my blush, I'm gonna be using Blue Heaven Diamond Blush on. I'm gonna apply this blush from the apples of my cheeks. 
To complete the entire makeup look, I'm gonna be going with a pink glossy lips. For that, I'm gonna be using these three shades. One is from Lacme 905 and Miss Glow Soft Matte Lip Cream, and another one is Lip Gloss by Be a Bombshell. I'm gonna apply it all over my lips to complete the entire makeup look. Alright guys, now we're gonna be moving on to the hairstyle. Now this hairstyle is called Boho Chic. This hairstyle gonna look super cute on Valentine's Day or any event. Uh, I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. So yeah, uh, if you do celebrate then go ahead and do wear this hairstyle. It's gonna look super super cute. For this hairstyle, it's super super easy guys. It's super super cute. All you have to do is you gonna take your hair from your starting of your ear and you gonna you know you gonna take the partition from the crown area I'm very bad at explaining hairstyle guys you can see what I'm doing uh, then um, hold it into a ponytail like this then all you have to do is you need to form a bun uh, taking this uh, partition uh, so all you have to do is you're gonna roll your hair onto your fingers and you know you know you're gonna secure it with a bobby pins or rubber bands I'm using a rubber bands you do what you want to do so all you have to do is you're gonna tie a rubber band onto the bun and um, you know slightly loosen out the bun from the rubber band so it looks sort of a messy for the leftover hairs, all you have to do is uh, you're gonna make a braid. So you're gonna take a partition from your, your section and you're gonna make a braid and uh, secure it with a rubber band. Gonna be doing the same thing on the other side too. And voila, your hairstyle is done. It's super super cute, super super easy. It's gonna take hard leave, I guess, five minutes for this hairstyle. Go ahead and do try it on your Valentine's Day, and you will definitely love it. So yep, that's pretty much for today. I hope you enjoyed while watching this video. If you did, then please do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done. See you guys super soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye guys.